iOS 26 CarPlay problems? Fix them now! Disconnects, audio, missing apps. Hey everyone! So, you just updated to the shiny new iOS 26, right? You're loving the new features, the sleek look, until you try to use CarPlay. And suddenly, it's a mess. Disconnecting, weird audio, missing apps, it's enough to make you miss your old phone. Well, you're not alone. Since iOS 26 dropped, a lot of us have been pulling our hair out over CarPlay glitches. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the most common iOS 26 CarPlay problems, and more importantly, how to fix them. Let's dive in. First up, and probably the most annoying problem, CarPlay disconnecting randomly or just refusing to connect at all. This is super common for both wired and wireless CarPlay users. Let's tackle this. For wired CarePlay, first, check your cable. This is surprisingly often the culprit. Ditch that cheap knockoff and use an Apple certified or original cable. Also, inspect both the cable and your car's USB port for any damage or debris. Try a different port if you have one. For wireless CarPlay, if your wireless CarPlay is constantly dropping or won't initiate, let's try a quick toggle. Swipe down for your control center and simply toggle Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off, then back on. Wireless CarPlay needs both of these working perfectly. iPhone 17 series specifics and others. If you're on a newer iPhone, especially the 17 series, and still having issues, you might need a deeper network reset. Go to Settings, General, Transfer or Reset iPhone, Reset, Reset Network Settings. Be warned, this clears all your saved Wi-Fi passwords and Bluetooth pairings, but it can work wonders. The classic restart. Don't underestimate the power of a good old restart. Restart your iPhone. Then, for your car, turn it completely off, wait 30 seconds for the infotainment system to power down fully, and then restart the car. Seriously, this often fixes more than you'd think. Next up, the weird audio issues. A lot of you have reported that Siri, podcasts, or audiobooks sound muffled, distorted, or just generally bad, while your music might play perfectly fine. This one's a bit stranger, but here are the best workarounds. The camera app trick. This sounds bizarre, but it's a known strange workaround for some iOS 16 users. When you notice the distorted audio, try opening the camera app on your iPhone while CarPlay is active. Some users report this temporarily fixes the audio routing. Wild, right? Force quit audio apps. Before you connect to CarPlay, or if the issue starts, force quit the specific audio app, like Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, on your iPhone. Then try reopening it directly from your CarPlay screen. Moving on to missing apps. If you've updated to iOS 26 and suddenly your Messages app or other key apps are gone from your CarPlay screen, you're probably running into a new privacy feature. This is usually due to the new App Lock feature in iOS 26. Disable App Lock for Messages or other apps. If you've used Face ID or a passcode to lock your Messages app on your iPhone, CarPlay will hide it for security reasons. To fix this, long press the Messages app icon on your iPhone's home screen. You'll see an option like Don't Require Face ID or Don't Require Passcode. Tap that to turn off the lock. Your app should reappear in CarPlay. If you've tried all that and you're still stuck, it's time for some heavier troubleshooting. These steps often involve resetting the relationship between your car and your iPhone. Forget and repair. This is a big one. First, on your iPhone, go to Settings, General, CarPlay, tap your car and select Forget This Car. Then, critically, go into your car's infotainment system settings and delete your iPhone from its Bluetooth or CarPlay connected devices list. After both are cleared, set up CarPlay from scratch. Plug in the cable for wired or pair via Bluetooth for wireless as if it's the very first time. Update your car's firmware. This is often overlooked. 
your car's head unit might need a software update to be fully compatible with major new iOS releases like iOS 26. Contact your vehicle's manufacturer or check their support website or dealership. A simple car software update can solve many CarPlay headaches. Check for iOS 26 patch updates. Apple is usually quick to release minor follow-up updates, like iOS 26.0.1 or 26.0.2, specifically to address major bugs. Go to Settings, General, Software Update on your iPhone, and make sure you're on the absolute latest version of iOS 26. These patches often contain crucial bug fixes. And here's an expert tip that catches a lot of people out. If you use a VPN on your iPhone, especially a system-wide or full-tunnel VPN, try disabling it completely or even deleting the VPN profile before connecting to CarPlay. VPNs can interfere with the wireless handshaking protocols, causing all sorts of connection nightmares. All right, those are the most effective fixes for iOS 26 CarPlay problems. I really hope these solutions help you get back to a smooth, functional CarPlay experience. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you have a fix that I didn't mention, or if one of these worked for you, let me know in the comments below. I love hearing your experiences. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips, troubleshooting guides, and iOS deep dives. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy driving with your working car play.